So I went ahead and put a uh, white base coat on. Now I'm just gonna throw pearl white over that. And then we're gonna move into the rest of the colors. Now I'm gonna load the brush up with some pearl satin gold. I'm not gonna use a lot of it, I'm just gonna use just a little bit. I want there to just barely be some gold showing under that uh that turquoise that I'm gonna use. Right? I don't know if you can even see it on the camera. It's really not very much at all. This turquoise I use, it blends really well with this plum and you're gonna get like a, a blue green shade to it with the purple over the top of it or with the purple blended into it. I'm gonna go over the top of that gold and just kind of blend it down. It's really not a whole lot. I don't use, oh, oops. I don't use a whole lot of it and I'm not too worried about my, uh, not too worried about my shading. And then there you go with the uh, the turquoise. It's not a whole lot. You just kind of shade it into that gold as best you can. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my other baits real quick. I'm gonna clean the brush out and then we're gonna switch over to some pearl plum. And it'll really start to bring these colors together. I'm just gonna try and shade that purple into that uh, that green. I don't know how well you can really see it, but that purple fades into that green and it kind of makes it blue. And then it just fades into that gold. So it's really just trying to, the best way to do it is to just go over the top, start high and then just work your way down and let that overspray fade into that other color you have down there. So I went ahead and heat set it all my baits and then loaded up some transparent black. This is the stencil I'm gonna be using, and I'll link in the description where I got it from. It's a Whitmore Farms one. I'm gonna start at the top and just try and fade it down as best I can. There you go. 
Once you add black over the top, it really starts to bring the whole bait together. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick. There you go. That nice crappy uh, pattern on the bait. And it doesn't have to be perfect because they're not perfect in real life. Now I'm just going to do the back and then the face right here. really brings everything together with the black back. I'm gonna do the top of the bait right there too. You could stop here because this is a really nice crappie pattern. I like to add a little bit more to it. Now I'm gonna add a fin to it just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I'll link this stencil down in the description too. How I like to do my fins is I line it up with the gill plate and just go off of that. So then the other side I can get pretty much the same. Boom. Now let's do this side, see same thing, just line it up on that gill plate. we go got our fins almost done I just do two extra colors I'm gonna throw some metallic charcoal over the back and then some some flare blue violet and then that will be it for the uh, crappies I've got the charcoal loaded up and I'm just gonna go over the back and the face with it And I am, um, I'm hitting it pretty heavy and just letting that overspray kind of bleed down into that purple. And you probably can't even, oh, I guess you can kind of see it. A little bit of charcoal that's on there. Once you put the clear on, it really starts to pop though. All right, so I got the brush cleaned out. Last color is gonna be that, that flare blue violet. This stuff's really cool. It's got purple and blue flakes in it. So you're not gonna be able to see it on camera, but on the bait, there's gonna be just like small flakes of purple and blue and it really looks sweet what I do with this is I just put it on super heavy on the black and I'll cover the whole bait really lightly with it alright I'll be back
You're not really gonna be able to see it on the camera, but it's just like a little subtle addition that I like to add. Now it's just time to throw the eyes on and clear coat it and we'll be done. I've got some little silver eyes I like to put in them. All right guys, that's it. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I'm gonna go put a clear coat on and then you guys can see it finished up.